Master, we are not oh, alone. that got everybody's attention. Okay, so let's um. Oh, didn't did it get everybody's attention or just some of them? Oh, oh no 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 not good not good not good. Um, all right, a little friend time. Try and hit these guys in the head as much as we can, so we're getting them killed. Oh, man, this is... I, are you kidding me? How many zombies are there here? Well, welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die. I am an old guy gaming, and this is Roberta the Robotic Drone. Hi, Roberta, how you doing? All systems go. How may I help? All right. She is in good shape. So what we're going to do, guys, in this episode is we're going to hit our first tier five. Uh, so it is day, also day 56, however. Uh, so Horde Night is tonight. But what I'm kind of thinking about doing is is not doing the Horde Night. In other words, get into a tier five and secure it so the Horde can't get, you know, to the upper floors and just keep going. Because it's going to take us a very long time, you know, to get through any tier five. Um and what I've been, from what I've been told, I haven't done a tier five yet, but from what I've been told is they are really hard to do now, a lot harder than they were in Alpha 19. So we are going to just really load up for bear here uh, by taking a crap ton of ammo. I'm going to also um, grab, uh, let's take three stacks of explosives because we'll probably put that to use. And we'll take, say, four stacks of shotgun shells. And, you know, we're going to probably end up using the M60 a lot in, um, you know, the, the oh crap situations, right? And so we'll take that and then let's just make sure we have a full stack of magnums. Uh, we got a pretty decent amount of steel crossbow bolts, so we're good to go there. I would like to get some more repair kits going, so let's grab some duct tape and some iron and just make... Uh, like, I guess, yeah, seven more of those... Uh, so we have those with us. All right, so we've got frames. I wonder if we might want to think about taking some cobblestone blocks with us and using that to, uh, you know, to, to block doors instead of using wood. Um, that might be a good idea, and we should probably also grab the, uh, whatchamacallit, the auger in case we have to break something out real quick. And of course, if we're going to do that, we're going to need some gasoline. So let's grab a little bit of that too. Um, we're we're probably not going to worry too much at all about looting until we we clear the place first, and then you know we can backtrack and loot if we want. Uh, we will check you know highly valuable stuff, but we're just not too worried about looting at this point in time. Okay, so we've got a pretty decent amount of ammo. Uh, how is our how's our armor doing in terms of? It's shape. It's in pretty good shape. I think we're we're okay. We're we're still using iron chest armor, huh? Do we have anything better than that? Okay, so we have purple. This is actually not as good as what we're wearing. Um, this is steel, and it's not as good as what we're wearing either. My goodness. Okay, yeah. So I guess we have the best uh, armor on that we can, you know, that we have access to at this point. So that's good. Um, and yeah, we're gonna make cobblestone rocks. Do I already have? Uh, some cobblestone blocks made up. If I did, they should be in this crate, and I'm not seeing them in there. So let's... Um, how do we... Oh, yeah, cobblestone shapes. That's what we want. All right, so let's make... I don't know. Let's make 20 of these so they're ready to go. Uh, we'll keep the wood frames with us, too, just because... Uh, you know, we're going to need those for various things as well. All right, now... Let's see what we got going on for for medical and stuff. So we're gonna look in the in the bike. So we're gonna want to take vitamins. We're gonna want to take pills. We're gonna take health bars. Sugar bites. I can't. I'm not really too worried about that. We're gonna want plaster casts. We'll probably just leave this stuff in the bike. Okay. Let's go back up here. Uh, Roberta. Let's make sure Roberta has plenty of bandages in her inventory. We might as well get a full stack of pills and a full stack of of those guys. Uh, five plaster casts. That should be okay. What do we want out of here? This gives us carrying capacity and run speed. Um, 
Four bites might not be a bad idea. Skull crushers. Do, 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 do. Let's make sure we have a full stack of health bars. Oh, here we go. Yeah, we'll do a full stack of call, uh, skull crushers. And, I mean, recog would kind of be nice, but we got it. We don't want to, like, completely fill up our inventory. Ready for duty. Okay, so let's put all of these in her inventory so she can uh, help keep us healed. We'll keep the bigger first aid kits in our inventory. In fact, maybe we should make some more of those. What do we need to make those? Oh, can I make those? Uh, maybe I can't. Maybe I haven't learned the schematic for for first aid kits because it's not showing up in, in here. Okay, yeah, I guess we haven't learned those. So, all right, well, we'll have to just do the best that we can then. Uh, now, we want to take food. I don't have any food actually made up at the moment. Um, what are we able to make? So, can we make sham chowder? Okay, so yeah, we got a full thing of sham. I think, yeah, you know what? We don't have any corn. Corn is the stopping point on that. So maybe what we'll do is let's just take canned food. We want chicken. There we go. Because chicken isn't used in any recipes. We'll just take a full stack of, of chicken and let's take a full stack of, I guess, red tea so we have hydration. And that should hold us in good stead. Okay. So now, um, all of that, all of that stuff is used for something, but I don't think Paris is used in any recipes, right? Yeah. Okay. There's no recipe option. So let's, uh, let's just eat a couple of these to top off our, our food. You don't, uh, you only get 10, well, 10 food's not terrible, I guess. Maybe we'll eat three of those. We do get a little bit of, of water from these two. That should... Is that going to top us all the way off down here? Yes, it does. Okay, cool. So we'll put those back in there. Um, no, actually, they go in here. I only put full stacks in that other cupboard. Extra cans can go in here. Okay, so let's uh, double check make sure we have everything we need. We got a lot of ammo. We've got our nail gun for repairing. We've got repair kits. We got lock picks. We got explosives. Three stacks of explosives. We got all of the meds that we'll, we should need for any ailments that happen. And I think we're in pretty darn good shape. Okay, let's go. Let's go do this. Tier fives. This will be our first attempt at tier fives in Alpha 20. Uh, like I said, I have not done them yet myself, but from what I have heard, they're they're pretty gnarly. And, you know, keep in mind, too, we're playing on insane difficulty, and we are playing on 100% nightmare speed all the time for all zombies. So, yeah, this is going to be fun. <laughs> this is going to be really fun. So let's go say hello to Rectum and get our first Tier 5 quest from him. <clears throat> all right, dude, what you got for us? Fetch and clear at Skyscraper 2. For a low life like Isn't you. Skyscraper 2, uh, not Deshong, but Higashi? I think it is, and we haven't done Higashi in a very long time. You know what? Let's take it. Can't say okay. I'm not surprised. All right, let's head over to the city. I'll meet you guys at what I think is Higashi, and then we will do our first Tier 5 quest. Oh, okay. It looks like Skyscraper 2 is actually the bookstore. All right. Darlene, Marlene, Arlene, whatever your name is. Get out of here. Okay, are you going to heal me? How may I assist you? I guess my health wasn't down low enough for her to heal us. Okay. Oh, we got an abrasion, too. Um, okay, let's take this. No, actually, let's just let it wear off. We, I, I think we better save our, our stuff. Okay, so this is crack -a book. Wow. And it looks quite a bit different than it did in Alpha 19. So it looks like, I guess we climb up there and maybe go through that window there. Interesting. You used to go, you know, start this, this building on the ground floor. 
All right, well, what we're going to have to do then is we're going to have to make sure by the time the Horde Knight starts that the Horde can't get up there. Hmm, I wonder if we should... Well, we've got the whole day. Okay, let's just get started with the quest, and then we'll see how things go. We've got the whole day. Okay, so I guess we go up this way. And up this ramp here. And then jump to this ledge and jump to this little uh, lift lift thingamadoodle. Oh, that's not what we needed to do. Okay, let's try that again. So we can be a little more careful this time. Goodness. Goodness gracious. Okay, jump to there. And then jump to here. And then up here. And go all the way up. And then, oh, what what in the hell, man? <laughs> I guess I need to go all the way up to the very top of that ladder. We are lucky we haven't at least sprained our leg from that jump two times in a row. Okay, get on the ladder. Okay, go all the way up to the top. And then jump over. There we go. We got this. Okay. So, uh, let's see. We want to go into here. Oh, great. Why do I get the feeling like as soon as we go in here, we are going to get rushed? Maybe what we ought to do is try and block the door a little bit. Buy ourselves a little bit of time here in case something really gnarly happens. And I have a feeling like something really gnarly is about to happen. I'll tell you what, too. Let's do this. Let's get... Uh, Let's get some explosives on our toolbar. Oh, I see a Zombo Ruski right there. They've done such a good job of hiding the Zombo. Oh, look at hiding this. Oh, man, that's a lot of Zeeks. Zombies here in Alpha 20. Should we expect them to come? Probably. There's a Zeke in there, too. All right, let's see if we can get a silent kill off, at least on this guy. No, it's hitting the post. Crap. Okay. Well, all right. Here's what. Here's the plan, then. We're going to aggro these guys. This will buy us a little bit of time. And we'll probably throw an explosive down and then kind of back up out through the ledge and let the explosive fend them out and then... You know, we'll probably have to use Little Friend uh, or our shotgun to... Oh, speaking of which... Oh, no, that was our crossbow. To finish them off. Let's make sure everything's loaded, especially Little Friend. Okay. Now, can I get... Can we get to this guy in here? Oh, we have to break two windows. Okay. Master, we are not oh, alone. that got everybody's attention. Okay. So let's, um, oh, didn't, did it get everybody's attention or just some of them? Oh, oh, no, 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 not good. Not good. Not good. Um, all right. A little friend time. Try and hit these guys in the head as much as we can, so we're getting them killed. Oh, man, this is... I, are you kidding me? How many zombies are there here? Oh, 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 they got us! Unbelievable! I was just hitting the zero button to take a health kit. I didn't really... <laughs> I didn't realize our health was that bad! Oh, no! Oh, no, oh, no! Okay, okay. Um, crap. Let's, uh, oh, man. All right, let's uh do this. Do I have an extra bedroll made up? If not, we're going to make one. Um, let's grab this and, and wear it. Just to give ourselves a little extra clothing. Uh, no, 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 don't scrap that. Don't scrap that. For the trip back. 
Uh, what did we, what all did we put on? Okay, so we need shoes, hands, shirt, helmet. Shoe, okay, here's hands. Where are those? Oh, those are hands too. Those are probably better. Shoes, hands, shirt. Let's grab this gun and this for melee, or not gun, I'm sorry, thing. Uh, we'll grab this. And we don't have any, we don't have any shoes. I guess we can just wear one of these. Is there anything in here? Shh, uh, shoes, shoes, shoes. Nope, no shoes in here either. Okay. Uh, helmet. We'll wear this. No, we got this already. Okay. Oh, okay, so that gives us a little bit of protection there. Um... Let's just grab some more uh, shotgun shells from here. And do we have any arrows in here? Uh, yeah, we'll just take uh, we'll just take the iron arrows. Just something, you know, so we have something on the way back, and we're not just running back with n no protection whatsoever. All right, now uh, we want to make ourselves a bedroll, so let's just grab this because we're gonna set the bedroll down close to the. Oh, you know what, though? We just failed the quest. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> we just failed the quest. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. Let's uh, let's take that. Um, now, where is my... Where's my mini bike? Wait a minute. Didn't I... Didn't I park the mini bike, like, out here? And for that matter, where's our gyrocopter? I could have sworn I parked the gyrocopter in this corner. I wonder if something happened to them with the latest update. Oh, no. Did they show up on the map at all? Okay, let me... Um, let me look for them real quick. So maybe I put it, put them in storage. I just don't remember. It's been a couple of weeks since I played this game last, because I've been gone on trips and stuff. All right, we got a we got the bicycle there, guys. I can't find my mini bike or my gyrocopter. Um, I don't think I've stored anything in any other room in the house other than the kitchen and the crafting room. There's nothing in any of these crates here. Oh crap! The only the only thing I can think of is we must have they must have we must have lost him in the last update or something, and if that's the case, I'm just gonna spawn him back in. Um, yeah, I mean, there's we're not storing anything up here. Okay, well, then yeah, let's do this. Let's do um, turn on the creative uh, creative menu, and we are going to we're just gonna spawn ourselves in a mini bike. And I guess the gyrocopter. If I if I realize later on that uh, I do have them somewhere, then I will destroy these ones that we spawned in. Okay, so that should go there. And. Okay, we got the mini bike there, and then let's just put some fuel in it really quick, and then we'll we'll take off. Yeah, that's weird, man. I don't know what happened to him. Okay, let's head on back uh, to our stuff, and then I guess, hmm, what are we gonna do? We can't we can't continue the quest. Um. I guess we could go back to Wrecked and get another quest from him and then try it again. And then, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. We just have to make sure, like I said, we have to make sure we secure it before the Horde Knight because we're not planning on fighting the Horde. We're planning on continuing whatever Tier 5 we're doing and not doing the Horde this time. And, though, and really the only reason I'm doing that, guys, is because... My plan at this point is after we do this first tier five, we're probably going to wrap up this series completely and start uh, an Undead Legacy series. And it's my intention uh, to keep the Undead Legacy series going for a pretty decent amount of time in which 
we will then get all of the tier fives eventually get all the tier fives done while we're playing a udl that, that's my intention right now anyways so we'll see how how that all goes okay let's stop off at rex here and just take another tier five from him we'll see what else he's got so that was skyscraper 2 see i thought skyscraper 2 was higashi but apparently it's bookstore so if he has hey, a sky you better not bring if any he's, diseases into my store. If he has a skyscraper three, hey, you need some work so I'm pretty boy. sure one's Deshaun. Yeah, some brass balls coming in here and turning me down. Okay, so um Look, blockhead. There we go. I'll so this should be Higashi. Better not. Alright, so let's take that. Next time. Babe. Okay, now let's go back and get our stuff and then we'll head over to what I think is going to be the Higashi Tower, and we'll we'll try, we'll try this again. Man, oh man, that was. Uh, I mean, yeah, I, kn I knew from what you guys have been saying that the tier fives were going to be tough, but that was just overwhelmingly tough. <laughs> just, holy cow! And I want you know I I wasn't expecting them to jump through the window. That that's kind of what messed us up because if if I could have kept them behind the block for just a few moments longer we could have you know set off a pipe bomb and killed a very large percentage of those guys and then probably not had to, you know we probably wouldn't be able to kill the would have been able to kill the rest of them without dying ourselves so yeah um i have to pay attention to that kind of stuff all right so we're back here and we've got the attention of some more Zeeks. Oh, what's behind us? Uh, Edgar! Edgar, knock that off. Don't be rude. Oh, time to reload. We got a dire wolf over there that's kind of eyeing us, too. Alright. He's, uh... It's going to be a problem. Okay, got him out of the way. Okay, let's go get our stuff. I, I still hear footsteps. Oh, are those guys still in there? All right, you know what? Let's do this. Um, let's pick this up and put it in here. We'll put all of this stuff in here. Okay. Let's go back up and get our bag, and then we'll figure out where we are from here. Oh! Well, hello, Roberta! Oh no! Ugh. Damn it, Jim! I had gone all the way to the top of the ladder! Like all the way to the top! Crap, can we even make this jump? Okay, yeah, we can. And this one? Nope. <laughs> okay, um. Well, this is a fine how to do. Let's kill these guys. Seriously? Okay, he's stuck. Hold still so I can shoot you in the head. Oh, not good. Okay. You dead. Uh, not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. Die, please. Thank you. You too. Oh! Why didn't I put the bedroll down? I mean, why? Why didn't I not put the bedroll down? What was I thinking? I don't know. I can't answer that question. I cannot answer that question. I don't know why I didn't put the bedroll down. <sighs> okay. 
Okay. Can we get through here? Yeah, we got this. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Any enemies around? Okay, first thing we're going to do is put the bedroll down over here. Okay, bedroll's down. Now, let's go get our first bag. There's a spider right there. Shh, be very, very quiet. Roberta, don't make any noise. I'm glad Roberta's able to keep herself from getting hurt. At least so far, she's I've got a bad feeling about this. Hold still. Alright, anybody else? Anybody else? Okay, now, let's go try and get our other backpack back. And this time, let's not fall down and break our leg in the process, okay? Shall we not do that? Okay, and then up here, and then up here. All the way to the very top of the ladder, and then over. There we go. Okay. Okay, let's crouch. Grab our stuff. Okay. Now, uh, we, have to, we have to put stuff back on, so... Okay, that's, uh, okay, we don't need this. Let's put these down here, and is there anything else we don't need? These are not super, super important. I don't want to climb back up here, so let's grab these. Okay, I think we're good. Okay, let's go. It's too bad we couldn't grab onto Roberta and, like, you know, kind of hang glide back down or something. That would be fun. They should have a they should have a mod for that or something. Get out of here. Get out of here. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. What's in here? Uh okay. Let's um let's put all this stuff in here. That goes in there, this can go in here. Uh that can go in there. What's supposed to go here? This. Okay. Uh, this goes in here. This goes here. I was trying to get everything back to its somewhat normal spot. Okay. Now, if we go in here, let's grab all of that out of there and pick this up. Do we still have one more slot? Yes, we do. Let's go grab our bedroll. Well, after we deal with Marlene here. Okay, somebody, somebody's not happy over that way. Okay, what time is it? It's 12.46. Okay. Do... Let's put some more fuel in here. And then we're going to put all of this stuff in here, too. I think we want to... think we want to hang on to everything else. All right. Now, um... Do we have enough clearance to take off here? Okay, let's go over to Higashi and try this again. Ah! Okay, 
Okay, this is a little bit of a problem. Um, did not even see that thing there. Okay, so now what do we do? I can't just pick this up because it's got a bunch of stuff in it. Can we... Can we get it to just kind of go over the edge? <laughs> okay, so we got it to go off of there. Okay, here. Let's do this. Let's let's back up to here. For goodness sakes, we don't have time for this, man. We have an abrasion. Ready for duty. Give me one of these. And give me one of these. Go away. Go away. Um, okay, well, whatever. <laughs> whatever works. All right, so it looks like uh, this one is in the desert. Interesting. We don't really have desert garb, so I wonder how we're going to do in that regard. We'll come around this way. And... I guess we'll enter uh, from the ground floor. It looks like that's going to be the case. All right. So, before we do anything else, we're going to run over here. Just a little ways away from... The building. It's got to be far enough away to where it'll let us start the quest, though. Way to have this reloaded there, OG. Oh, for goodness sakes. Okay. Let's put, uh, let's get rid of that and that. Uh, oh, I didn't grab the bedroll. Darn it. Zeke's are coming in. Um, can I put it in here? I have a feeling like this might be a little too close. Let's just see what happens, though. It, it won't let me start the quest if it's too close, so... Okay, so at least we can enter from the ground floor, which is good. 
Because then we can get up to the second floor and then secure the second floor. At least that's the theory. And this is a clear, so we don't have to worry about finding a stupid... Uh, yeah, doggone it, the bedroll's too close. Okay. All those zombos are starting to come in, too. Take this guy out before he sees us. Oh, yeah, he turned around nice. Ah, I am just not on my A game today with my shooting. <sighs> okay, yeah, stop for a minute. All right, we got him. We shoulder shot him, so he's going to... Let's just get her to. Okay, we'll pick this up and put it further back. I kind of like this little spot because it was had a bit of shelter to it, but what we could maybe do is try this. I uh, know that's kind of jank, but you know what? If it works, it works. What we are going to do, though, is put that there and that there so we can get up there or, or get back down. Okay, that should be far enough away. I don't like the fact that we're as hot as we are. But there's not really a whole lot I can do about that unless we come across a, you know, something that we can replace those with that will be cooler. I don't think any of that stuff's going to help. Okay. Let's try this. So what we've got to do is we've got to secure the second floor so the horde can't get up there. And we don't have a lot of time to do that. Um, let's make sure everything is fully loaded. Especially you. Oh, no. Gotta wait until the animation's completely done. Alright. I have a feeling like this is not going to be easy. But we obviously have to get those escalators broken out. And then I don't know if there's another... Yeah, I think there's a stairwell over there that they could get up to. So let's just go over here. Okay, we see red dots. If we could just take these dudes out, you know, a few at a time instead of getting a whole gigantic horde coming after us, that would be... Much appreciated. Let's do this. Let's come over here and jump up here. Okay. That should be a free shot as long as it doesn't hit the couch first. Nice. Okay. I've got a bad feeling about this. She's probably talking about the Zeeks that are outside. Okay, here, let's do, let's go into the stairwell here. It's locked. All right, so what we're going to do is... Okay, that's just the zombo outside, so I'm not too worried about that. Let's try and stay silent as much as we can. Okay, we'll take those two things. Might as well look in here. No, we don't want any of that stuff. 
Okay, so we've got to get these stairs broken out. That's the first order of business. And I'm going to block this. We can easily break that later. Um, let's just go up to the second floor real quick and see what's going on up here. Okay, we'll close that and we'll block that too. Now, anything coming down from the top, we're not going to be able to block really, so... We'll just have to deal Master, we are not alone. We'll just have to deal with them. All right, so I think the easiest thing for us to do here is to bust out these blocks here. And I, I don't really want to use the auger because it's just going to make a lot of noise. So let's just use the pick. Okay, so the Zombadoms uh, should not see this now as a pathway to get up here. And we can kind of further it. Uh, discourage them from thinking that's a possibility by just putting those there. Roberta, come over here, please. I've got a bad feeling about this. Okay, so I think we've secured that spot. Now what we're going to do is let's just take a quick look up here. Okay, good. So nothing from f floors four can get well they could still fall down i suppose but um let's block that too all right we're gonna break this block and get out onto the second floor the next thing we have to do is break the two escalators and we have to uh we have to check i want to check the elevator shaft too that used to not be a way to get up here uh, in the older version of this building, but that doesn't mean it's that way now, of course, right? All right, we've got some customers in here. Can't really s get to any heads, though. Can almost get to her head. There we go. Nice. So now the trick is we don't want to aggro everything on the second floor if we can help it. Oh, that is a head right there. Okay. There you go. My senses have picked up something. Okay. Oh uh, yeah, let's get our crossbow bolt back. And I'm not worried about looting or anything like that until we've got the place secured. All right, so we've got a victim here. Very good. We just want to get as many silent kills in as we can just to thin out the herd. Okay, let's go around this way. This looks fairly similar to what it was before. All right, I've got a Zeke up here, but I, I don't believe I can shoot through those rails. I don't see any red dots up in that corner. Only woken up one Zombo. So let's see if we can silently take them out with this. So far, so good. Okay, we've got... Uh, at least one behind the counter there. But obviously I can't get to the head. I've got a bad feeling about this. Roberta, quit saying that. You're freaking me out. Yeah. Unfortunately, I got too close, but that's all right. We still took him out without any trouble. Okay, no, we're not looting. We'll worry about that stuff later. So far, so good. So far, so good. Okay. 
those... Wait a minute. Okay, where are those red dots coming from? Down below, maybe? There's nobody else in here. They must be coming from down below. And I, and I know that we do have to clear the ground floor, too, of course, but that's not the priority right now. The priority is getting the second floor secured from the horde. And then if we have time, we will go back down to the ground floor and get those zombies killed before nighttime. Um, okay, so I see... I don't see any red dots over in this area, but that doesn't mean they're not there. Keep in mind, too, you guys, we, this is, we don't have a stealth build. We're in heavy armor, so we're making some significant noise. But before anybody says anything, the headlight does not affect sleepers. I've already pro proven that in a previous episode. Okay, got those guys out of the way. Get our crossbow bolts back if we are able to. This looks a little bit different than before, but the general layout, at least of the first two floors, is pretty similar to what it was before. Okay, let's just finish in those rooms there. Yeah, we've got quite a few red dots in these rooms. Um, you know what, though? Before we do that, can I bust out... The escalator, so nothing from down below can get up here. My senses have picked up something. Okay, so far, so good. Okay, so we've secured that escalator. I have a feeling like as soon as we hit that one, we're going to wake up all of the nasty stuff in here. So let's see if we can get this door blocked. There we go. So if they do wake up, then we can cheese them. Yep, yeah, they're awake. Okay. Uh, okay, let's get you. I think we got some of the Zikaroos from down below now. No, that's all right. We need to kill him anyway. Okay, let's get the rest of this broken out. Okay, good. Master, we are not alone. Good, good, good. I see no more red dots up above. Come, come over here, Roberta. How may I assist you? I just want to take one of these to top off here. We'll save the we're saving the big ones for later. Okay, we don't need this or this. Don't even really need that right now either. Or this. Okay, so there's nothing else in here we need to worry about as far as zombadoodles. Let's go back over this way. And yeah, that's probably yeah, that's ten thousand hit points steel. What's this? Five thousand? Yeah, I don't think there's anybody left that we need to worry about up here. Now, let's go back down to the ground floor and finish off any Zeeks that are down here uh, because we have to clear the place, right? So we're just going to jump down here. And I should be able to... Here, let's break this out. Those are just outside Zeeks. But, since they are... 
accommodating us, and there's quite a few of them. Let's just get some bang for our buck here. I was going to say, why did I, why did I only get 400 XP from that? There we go. 2300 XP. That's what we want. Edgar? Will you have the the decency to just die, please? Thank you. All right, let's break this out because this is our way back up and... Oh, I, I forgot I blocked that. Okay, we might have to just nerd pull up. That's fine. We can do that. All right, now I want to make sure the ground floor is clear and let's also loot the ground floor. Make sure everybody's loaded. I'm not as concerned now with be about being quiet, especially since we just let off a couple pipe bombs anyways. So let's just get this ground floor cleared, and then we go up to floor two and breathe a little bit easier knowing that we are secure for El Horde Night O. Wasn't there another Zeke in here? Well, there is now. Oh! Okay, let's check these bookshelves. Uh, no, I'm not going to grab paper. We're only going to really grab stuff, guys, that... I mean, we our inventory is so full that we can't afford to get a bunch of basic mundane stuff. We're really only going to get high-end stuff. Okay, so this is a bathroom. I guess we check for a toilet pistol. <laughs> Look at that! We got a toilet pistol. Oh shit! Dude! These are outside Zeke's. Well, I think they're outside Zeke's. Okay. Nope. Don't need any of that stuff. Anybody in here? Okay, I don't see anything in here. We can look in the desk. Normally I would take that stuff and sell it, but again, we are going to be super frugal with uh, loot. I think that's it for the ground floor. I believe we have gotten everything out of here that needs to be gotten out of here. So, okay, so what we're going to do here is, can we get back up the escalator here and then just kind of bridge our way up from there? Uh, maybe jump up on here and, and jump there. There we go. Okay. Senses have picked up something. So I believe we've cleared floors one and two. And now we can proceed with our quest here and not worry about the horde getting up to us. At least that's the theory. Okay, let's dump a few things that we don't need to be carrying around with us. And where is... Where's Roberta? Let's top off again with a small bandage. Again, we want to save the big bandages for when uh, we really need them. Uh, let's go take a quick look in here. Is there anything to loot in here? Not really. There's a coffee maker. Uh, we don't need coffee grounds, though. Nope. Don't need any of that. Uh, that's the, This is just the stairwell, I think, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's just the stairwell. Okay. Very good. It is time to go up to the third floor, ladies and gentlemen. The third floor. Actually, did we loot the stuff in his kitchen? We did not. We don't need a bone. Uh, we don't need that. We will take and just drink this now. Keep our hydration topped off. And we don't need that. Okay, we're done. I'm going to leave the leather and all that stuff. Oh, there's another room over here. Uh, we've already... Mm, we went in here, but we didn't loot it. Okay. Nah, don't care about the paper. 
Check the desk. Sandwich. Uh, you know what we could do? We got an extra one of these. Let's eat it. To free up the space, and then we'll eat the sandwich to get our food up a little bit. And we actually need to get our food up a little bit more, too. So let's also throw back a couple chicken rations. Excellent. Let's head on up to floor number three. Close that door. Incoming enemies. Prepare for conflict. Okay. The third floor. What we'll probably actually do here, I keep saying we're not going to loot, but now that I think about it, we can actually set up some drop crates uh, here on the third floor. That's the way I used to do the old Higashi anyways. So let's do that, and then we can actually start doing some actual looting. Just want to look for sniping opportunities. Okay, we got another dude there. Can we get a headshot? Maybe right here. Fantastic. Okay, let's go in here and get our... Retrieve any crossbow bolts that we can get. Um, yeah, that's not really going to do us any good. Let's just leave that there. Eh, we'll take the wood. Why not? We'll start hanging on to paper since we're going to make some drop chests. But before we do that, let's just make sure this immediate area is as clear as it can be. Ooh, big mama. She must be a... I've got a bad a, feeling uh, about this. Feral big man. Oh, she doesn't see us. Look at that. All right. Okay. So we're looking for more headshots. There we go. Look at that. Actually, let's take out this business guy. Er, what is that? Janitor? First. So that way, if we don't one shot the biker, we don't have him also on us. Well, we didn't have to worry about that, though, did we? So it's better to be safe than sorry, though. Know what I'm saying? Okay, now we have another red dot off. Oh! You were quiet. Oh, boy. Okay, let's get our back to a corner here. We survived. <laughs> we're just pretty, but I am effective. We got the tar beat out of us, but we're survived. We survived. Okay. So we have a sprain and an abrasion. So let's take this. And that re that reduces the sprain time. Well, I don't know if it I don't think it did it reduce the I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, we're good. We survived that. So there you go. That's a victory in and of itself. Okay. Uh, let's take that for sure. Um, we don't really need that. Okay. Whew. Okay. Let's go back out here. I thought we had another Zombadoodle showing up in that corner there. We have a, what, oh shoot, we just lost our crossbow bolt. Uh, let's take that. Do we need to, yeah, let's take that now. We are hot. Um, we might as well eat that too, because we're in the desert, right? And we don't have desert clothing on, but we'll do the best we can here. Yeah, I'm just going to leave that there. Out. Don't run with a sprain. Okay, I think we're probably at a good stopping point. Um, because this immediate vicinity is clear. We have secured ourselves from the Horde Knight, so I'm pretty sure we'll be safe from the Horde coming, being able to get up here. You know, they're going to tear the crap out of the bottom part of the building, but we're on floor three. So it's very, very unlikely they'll be able to get to us. And the building, I would expect the building to hold up. 
Um, well, let's hope it does. If it doesn't, we're in trouble, right? Uh, but let's make a couple storage chests and no. <laughs> what the heck, man? Uh, a couple of storage chests, not 362 or whatever that number was. And we're going to just put all put these chests up here. Uh, and these will be our drop chests for all the loot that we get. And let's actually drop a few things off right now. Uh, we can come back for some of our ammo later. Just to give ourselves a little bit more room here. Uh, we'll keep the gas in the auger in there. The nerdy glasses we'll keep in there. And, oh, you know what? We don't need... Well, we might need those if we end up shooting all these up by the time it's all said and done. So I'm glad we still have those, too. All right, guys. Well, that is it. So we uh, we totally failed the first tier five at the bookstore. <laughs> but we managed to actually make it to floor three of Higashi. And um, also, hopefully, you know, have secured ourselves from the horde being able to get to us. So... I'm going to let you guys go here, and then what we'll do is we'll pick up right where we left off in the next episode and continue working our way through the Higashi Tower, and hopefully we can successfully complete this Tier 5 quest. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode, and if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and share out the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.